Hi, in this video, I will show you how you can build a powerful spot welder using the transformer from a microwave oven. Using this method, the design spot welder is capable of providing more than 100 amps and can easily melt down thick metals in seconds. Check out the shaking of the metal plate which shows strong magnetization of the transformer. Using the spot welder, you can easily repair broken metallic home items like this tea strainer. Also, this broken metallic basket is repaired like a charm using this spot welder. In the end, I will explain why this spot welder is not suitable for spot welding lithium ion cells. Let's start preparing our stock microwave oven transformer for this project. Since the output of the transformer provides 2000 volts, we cannot use it for our project. That is why we need to cut and remove the secondary winding out of it. Here, our transformer is ready now for rewinding. I am using 35 square millimeter wire for winding the secondary side of the transformer. Also, two ring terminals are punched on its ends for easy connection. Now let's start winding the secondary side of the transformer. Since this is a thick wire, there will be a little bit difficulty while winding it onto the transformer. Here, we need to wind two loops of this wire onto this transformer. So now our transformer is ready and we are going to take out the output voltage at these points. Whereas the input voltage will be provided at these points. Before connecting any kind of leads, I will show you the output voltage of this transformer using a multimeter. Here you can see that the transformer is providing us 1.7 volts AC output voltage. So now let's test this transformer if it can provide us good spot wells. Alright, so now we can try to repair this broken tea strainer and see if we can weld it using our spot welding machine. Here, you can see that the T strainer is welded, but not as good as we expected. The reason for this weak weld is because the terminal red and black wires are not capable of passing required high current. Such thin terminal wires are not suitable for welding thin metals like this one. Using some thick wires at the terminal end 
like I used for secondary winding will definitely provide us desired results. Also, let's now try to repair this metal basket mesh using our transformer. And as you can see, welded it successfully. So finally, here you can see I am trying to spot weld a lithium ion cell with a metal strip. But as you can see, the welding is very poor in this case. This is because such thin metallic strips usually require high current and low voltage in duration of milliseconds. Since we have not connected any circuit which can provide us a pulsed current, that is why the metallic strip is melting before you weld it properly. Also, Good spot welding of such cells require voltage of between 4 to 12 volts which in our case is just 1.7 volts. That is another reason of such bad spot welds on the cell. So that's all for today. If you have liked this video then don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos. Bye bye.